Uh, when creating a contact, it is extremely important to fill out the card as completely as possible um, and to make sure you're doing so carefully um, and that the information is accurate. Um, this goes for all contact types, but the client contact in particular. Um, so here we are looking um, to create a new project. I've already searched um, my uh, contacts here uh, to see if the client already exists in my file line system. Um, I don't want to create a new client contact if this is for example, a repeat customer, if you will. Um, so uh, this client does not exist yet in our system. I'm going to add him. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to enter as much information as I have. I'm going to make sure I put in a prefix to make sure that my letters populate correctly. So that would be Mr., Miss, Mrs., Ms., Dr., um, any other prefix that you can think of, um, and then suffix. Uh, so say for example here I have uh, Mr. Barney R. Rubble the third. Um, you're also going to want to make sure to enter your date of birth. Oops. And if the client is unfortunately deceased, say for example this is a motor vehicle accident um, where um, the injured party passed away, so your client is, um, for example, maybe the spouse, um, you'll click deceased for the injured party. Um, if you have any information regarding um, a provider or a professional contact, you'll want to put in the company, department, and job title information there. Um, and then down in the phone and email and address contact, you have the ability to label the type of phone, the type of email, and the type of address and to add multiple versions of it. So say for example, we have oops, a home phone for the client, but we also have a personal mobile phone for the client. We'd want to enter both and we'd want to label the um, type of phone accordingly. Now if the type of phone that um, you're entering is not available in this list, let your admin know because this list uh, is also customizable. We can add and remove uh, phone types as necessary. And the same thing goes with the email. So if you have a work and a personal email for the client, make sure that you are labeling the email correctly. And you may have um, clients where their mailing address is different from their home address. You may need their home address for various official documents, but you want to make sure to mail um, let paperwork to them at their mailing address, which may be something like a PO box, for example. So you would add both addresses here and um, you would select the correct type of address. Um, and then always double check the additional info or details um, tab. So there's other tabs available up here for different types of contacts. Make sure you click through those so that you're adding any additional information related to that contact. The type of information in these additional tabs is, custom so these fields are customizable. It's going to vary by firm, um, but this is information that does not change um, or should travel with the client, like their social security number, like their gender, the language they speak, um, their driver's license number, information that you may need to refer back to at a later date um, if they come back to you for another case. Um, children, some firms put criminal history in here and they add to it as necessary, uh, child support issues, educational history, that sort of stuff. Um, so fill this out as completely as possible um, based on the fields your firm has customized um, in the contact card.